Hey, how's her condition? She has a closed head injury, but her vitals are stable. We're taking her to General Hospital. Wait a second. Hold on a second. What happened to Elizabeth? I don't know. She seems to be a victim of a hit and run. Who called it in? It was anonymous. And at this point, we got no witnesses. We'll go on, get her out of here. That, that's Elizabeth. Hurry, Bobby, I'm right behind you. Oh, Who's there? Who's there? Elizabeth? It's, it's Bobby. Bobby. It's all right. Bobby, Bobby help Bobby. me. All right, come on up. Come on. I can't see. What? I can't see. Oh, dear. All right. all right, come on. I'm gonna hit you in the bed. It's all right. Um, Corey, can you tell Sonny that, um, I had to take care of some things and I'll see him later? Thanks. Hey, hey! Well, when, when did you guys get home, huh? Well, we just dropped our bags off at the penthouse and we came straight here. Oh, how was your trip? Perfect. Good. Peaceful. Oh, nice. Oh, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> hey. Hey. Welcome home. What's up? You should call. Now you're coming. Well, yeah. Yeah, Jason and I, we decided to shut the rest of the world out and just be together. It's just what we needed. Until we got back. What happened? Well, my car got stolen while we were gone. Your car got stolen? Yeah, well, at least it was insured. Anyway, that's not important. Um, what matters is, while we were away, I had a chance to calm down and look at the way I've been acting, and I I think I owe both of you an apology. You don't have to apologize for hurting. Yeah, but there was more going on with me. Anyway, I told Jason about it at the island, and, and I think that you both deserve to know, too. What is it? Um, after I injured my neck and my shoulder, the doctor prescribed me some pain pills, and I, uh, I took more than I should have. And not just for the pain in my shoulder, but for some reason, I, I thought it calmed me down, when really it just made me more out of control. Courtney, I'm so sorry. I, I knew something was wrong, and I, I should have asked. No, Carly, come on. You did. I, I didn't even know myself. It just kind of snuck up on me. Well, you know, if you need help getting off the pills, we just, we'll just set you up with a doctor, whatever. No, whatever really, I'm, I'm all right now. I am Jason and I, we, we talked about it. I threw out the rest of the pills. I just, I wanted to explain, and that's part of the reason I was so out there. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad it's over now. Yeah, me too. Um, Jason, um, I assume you called uh, Emily while you were away? Yeah, those are the only calls that I made, actually. Did she? Tell you that Elizabeth is in the hospital. No. What? Why? What happened? She was a victim of a hit and run. Well, do they know who did it? Well, uh, last I heard, Faith Roscoe was the prime suspect. We should go see her. My God, I was awful to her last time she tried to visit Jason. That I, I owe her an apology. Yeah, I, I think she'd like a visit from you too. Yeah. Okay. Check in with you later. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. See you guys. See you guys. I am not blind. Okay, they they didn't say that you were. <sighs> then why is everyone treating me as if I'll never see again? I'm gonna go get the nurse, okay? No, 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 no. Don't get the nurse. Get the doctor. I wanna know what's going on. I don't wanna hear that he's just taking precautions. I wanna know when I'm going to see again, okay? Okay, I'll go try and find him, all right? <sighs> Elizabeth. Jason? I just heard what happened. Do you mind that I'm here, or do you want to be alone? Or... No, no. Come in. I, but I'm going to warn you, I'm not exactly the model patient right now. I can't seem to get a straight answer out of anyone. I don't understand why people just can't be honest. Well, they... they I'm fine. They, uh, they probably don't have the answers yet. 
don't want to admit it or they think that they think the truth is going to scare you. Okay, but how can I figure out what I'm going to do if I don't know all the facts about my condition? I, I understand, but, but for what it's worth, yelling and, and throwing things aren't going to make them listen. I've tried it. <laughs> I've tried it a lot, and they're just going to say that you're over-emotional and, and ignore you, and if you don't shut up, they're going to give you a sedative. I'm just... Oh, God, that's the last thing I want. Yeah, I figured. So I guess I better practice on being calm while I wait to hear if I'm ever going to see you again. Do you remember what happened? Mm-hmm. I was... I was just walking home, you know, thinking about Rick, wondering why I couldn't see all the signs. And I had, uh, I'd just thrown away this, um, this flyer for my art show that he had given me, and then I started to cross the street. Suddenly, the, I see the headlights, they're just coming straight towards me. I couldn't, I couldn't get out of the way, then, before the car just slammed into me. Okay, what the hell is this about? That's Courtney's car. Yeah, I know. How did you get that picture? It's not important right now. Courtney told me that her car was stolen when she was out of town. Did she also mention she's the one who ran down Elizabeth Lansing? Doctors don't know how long it'll take for my eyes to heal. So you could be fine. I couldn't be, and that's exactly why I got so upset when the nurse came in and told me I needed to start training for life as a blind person. I mean, it's as if she was telling me that I just need to give up. I, I don't know if it's this way for you, but, you know, the doctors used to treat me like I was, I was something broken they couldn't fix. All, all the tests they ran, all the therapy they made me do was to try and make up for them not being able to do something for my actual brain injury in the first place. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. The doctors don't want to admit that they don't have an answer, so they're just recommending rehab. And why start training if I'm going to get better in a few weeks, right? Yeah, well, the thing is, you can't see right now, and maybe, maybe this nurse could could teach you a few things that make your life a lot easier until, until your vision returns. It might not be a bad idea. Well... I'll let you get some rest. Okay. Thanks. Jason? Yeah? Thank you. Anytime. I coordinate Elizabeth and keep going. When you just happen to be there, what an amazing coincidence. I saw Courtney in the park before the accident. She was upset, emotional. She dropped a bottle of pills. She shouldn't have been driving at all. I followed her home to make sure she got there safely. A few minutes later, she hit Elizabeth. And how'd you end up with Courtney's car? I stole it before the police could find it. To protect her, I suppose. That's right. OK. Here's another scenario. Uh, you stole Courtney's car, and then you ran down Elizabeth yourself. Why would I do that? To frame Courtney and gain leverage over Sonny. Sonny and I agreed to a truce. And you did it to get to me. Now you're half right. I'm protecting Courtney for your sake. I doubt she even knows she hit Elizabeth. All right, Lorenzo. Let's cut to the chase. What do you want? Nothing. Mm-mm. You don't do anything for nothing. How do you know? Best experience. You even boasted about it. You are a businessman. Everything is a means to an end. Maybe I wanted to improve your opinion of me. Is that so terrible? I love my husband. And you are trying to prove to Sonny that you can get to me. You are wrong. I don't want your help. Are you sure? Listen, you want my gratitude. You tell me where the car is. What are you going to do? It's not your business anymore. Look, if you tell Jason that Courtney was wrecked on pills and hit Elizabeth, how do you think he's going to react? Hmm? What about Courtney when she finds out? You're going to be putting both of them through hell. You know, you don't give a damn about Courtney and Jason. Well, that's true, but you care. It was an accident. 
Elizabeth's gonna be all right. Courtney never has to know. No one does. Except you and me. I can dispose of the car for you. No. I don't want you to do that. I will take care of this myself. Give me the keys and tell me where the car is. If you insist. You aren't going to tell anyone about this. It'll be our secret. <laughs> 